We've seen union types and a methodology for handling that and what its template looks like. We've seen compound types, structs, and a methodology for handling that. That is, what is the template for that? Otherwise, the methodology is all the same, the steps of the design recipe. Um, okay, let's just layer on one very mild twist, nothing too surprising. Uh, I'm going to have a union type where each of the two, it's going to only have two sub-branches in this case, each of those happen to themselves be structs. Okay, so you might remember uh, we had a data definition for, I can't do that while I'm recording, a book. A uh, book had a title and an author and number of pages and so on, and we'd, we you know, gave a data definition, which was, in this case, a defined struct, which actually was code that generates what functions get generated by this defined struct? Go ahead and pause and see if you can name five functions that get generated. Maybe six. Okay, back from pause. Yeah, uh, this generates make book, book hyphen title, book author, book num pages, book is copyrighted. It also creates uh, the predicate book. Okay, so we already saw this. this um, we had book with those fields. We made, again, the steps of the design recipe. Define our data, how we're going to represent books, what do we want to keep track of, what type will we use for each of those things, each of those subparts. Um, oh, in this case, it was a struct because you want all of these at once. Sometimes it's a union type. Okay, once we have the data definition, examples of the data, so we make a couple examples. I'll go ahead and uh, give them names as well, just because we'll use those in later test cases. You don't need to give them names. <coughs> okay, get rid of the part of the version where we... Oh, these are examples of calling getters. We don't need that anymore. That's, that's old. A template for handling any book. Oh, okay. Well, if we're handling a compound type, then we just look at pulling out its, its various fields, and we'll have to work with those. It is good to remind yourself what are the types of each of these things. Okay. So, hey, I'm going to have a... Um, two strings, a natural number, and a boolean when I work with this function. Okay, and then we actually started going on the per-function basis and making functions about books. Uh, and we did all that work, including test cases, and then the, the signature and header and purpose, etc., and then filling out that the body of the function. Okay, so we did all this. We've seen, seen a, a few functions handling books. Okay, we even saw books uh, functions that return a brand new book object. And again, the emphasis is uh, we don't change any of the fields. We return a new book with the fields. Even the version where we made a, a senior citizen large print edition, all we did was change the number of pages. We returned a new book object with all the same fields except for the number of pages, which is, was double the inputs. Okay, so let's go ahead and Maybe do a little bit of practice here for a moment. Uh, define a structure for a DVD. I'm gonna, so the first step would be data definition. I want to represent DVDs. What do I need to do? What, what built-in type should I use? Oh, no single built-in type is good enough. I need to make my own. Cause I want to simultaneously keep track of, it turns out my boss told me, the title of the DVD, uh, what year it was released, uh, how long the, the DVD is, uh, and its, its motion picture rating. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, what type should I use for e each of those? Well, okay, title, I'll go ahead and use a string. And the release year, I'll use a natural number. Go ahead and add that. Um, running time, the length of the movie. Yeah, I think a real, I mean, it could have a fractional running time. Now, there's a little bit of play here. You might say, hey, I... I spend hours on IMDB and they, it's always an integer. They only keep track of the length in minutes. And if you want to say, hey, I work in the movie business, uh, this is inherently what we do. We only keep track in minutes and we don't keep track of it further. Then maybe, then maybe that's how you want to model that information. If you ask a movie executive and they say the length of a movie is a number of minutes as an integer uh, or a natural number, then yeah, maybe you should go ahead and follow what they're, how they represent it, because your program is modeling what's in their head. So, Okay, I, I chose real here, that's fine. Um, the rating, the, how should we represent a rating? 
And really, I, I put down symbol. That's kind of a, a little bit of a shortcut here. Uh, really, I should probably have a whole, that should be a whole new type, because uh, really it's a union type, one of uh, PG, G, PG-13, R, teen, whatever. I can go look up what those things actually are. I might use symbols for, for those to make that union type. I uh, might include European ratings. I might include uh, other types of, uh, you know, unrated. might have faults for unrated, something like that. Okay. Um, by the way, I should point out that for the uh, length field, again, mention your units somewhere. Uh, is it hours, minutes, seconds, frames? Those would all be reasonable reasonable representation. So it's actually pretty important to have a comment saying that the length is in minutes. Okay, so we can make examples of the data. Um, for rating, we'll just go ahead and use a symbol here, but uh, make a couple examples of the data. Uh, here's a little test. Go ahead and see if you can pause and write the template for a DVD. See if you can knock that out in under 75 seconds. Do -de -do -do. Do, 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 Okay, so template, um, we'll go ahead and again, the idea for a template for a compound type, for a product type, Cartesian product, just pull out the fields. Pretty, pretty straightforward. And you'll do, call some function that uses all these fields, or have some expression that uses all these fields and constructs your desired result. Okay. So that's just the review. Now let's go ahead and get into the idea of, hey, we have a union of structs and just see, basically I want to see what the template looks like for that. So we'll do that in the next video.